Hello dear, welcome to your massage. Today we're going to be doing a spring wellness visit with acupressure points that support your liver, which is very important right now as we start spring, as well as a massage to help with any tightness and pain in the neck and shoulders, which you described you had. So we're going to start with locating the acupressure points and just marking them and then we'll do some acupressure massage and then some other massage on the neck and shoulders okay i just have some notes here that i'll place right here so i can keep track of all the points that we'll be doing and i want to start with the front moo point which is a very important point in supporting the liver. And the reason why I've chosen the liver is because spring is um, the wood element for traditional Chinese medicine. And with the wood element, the liver is particularly important to look at. Oftentimes, we'll find that our liver um, experiences liver qi stagnation in the spring tends to be overtaxed, especially with the winds that we experience. So the first point, liver 14, is called the gate of hope, also known as the qi men. It is located forward swing lateral to the anterior midline in the sixth intercostal space. So we'll start on the right side where your liver is located. So locating liver 14, we're just finding the midpoint between uh, the sternum here and the acromion, and that's about Fort Swinon. And then we're going down to the sixth intercostal space. So just locating the first rib here, the second there, third here, fourth, fifth and sixth so just double check that again i can also locate the second rib by finding this little ridge here on the manubrium or where the manubrium and the rest of the sternum um, the junction is that's the second rib third fourth fifth and sixth so right under here and just making sure that it's midline. It's right there, perfect. I just want to make a mark right there so I know to apply acupressure right here. We can do the same thing on the other side. So again, just locating halfway between the sternum and the chromium. And we're moving down to that same spot and we have here a guide we can just go to the other side and find the sixth intercostal space just right there we can just kind of do a little mark pointing towards the acupressure point so that's liver 14 and I'll tell you a little bit more about liver 14 when we do the acupressure for that so we have Taxi here with us and she'll be purring away and kneading away and <laughs> <laughs> she'll give you a little bit of a massage as well. So now we're moving on to pericardium six, which is Nei Guan. And this point moves liver qi, helps with stagnation of liver qi caused by emotional problems. So let's go ahead and locate that. Where's my little pencil? It's missing. So next we are locating pericardium 6, Neguan, which is located Tutsun proximal to the transverse crease of the wrist and right in between the two tendons that are found here, the pulmaris longus and the flexor carpi radialis. So we can divide the forearm. This is 12 tun. So if we do 
thirds and then right here. That's it right there and I'm just going to mark it. Okay. Let's do the other one. All right, and that's located on the other arm. So again, 12 tsun divided by three and then halfway, so right over there between the two tendons. So I'm just pointing towards where I will be doing acupressure. Okay. All right. So I'd like to go ahead and do some acupressure. And I'm going to apply a little bit of oil and then use these tools for acupressure. right there, just to allow the smooth flow of, of the massage. So as we located previously, liver 14 is right here, and right there. So I want to do a little bit of more accurate, precise acupressure first. And then I will move on to the mushrooms. Just start by applying on the right side where the liver is. And just some circular motions, applying a bit of pressure as well. Does that feel okay? Okay. So... When liver chi stagnation occurs, one of the symptoms that happens is that you might have trouble really taking deep breaths um, because the chi is stuck, stuck in a certain spot, often stuck actually in this area in the hypochondriac region. And that's why we might sigh in order to help release the chi onto this side. So this spot, um, this point right here, liver 14, can really help to allow your chest to expand more and to be able to take a nice relaxing breath to bring in some more peace and relaxation to help remove stagnant energies of anger and frustration which are associated with the liver in the TCM perspective. Okay. I'm just using both my fingers here, just applying the pressure. Encouraging the smooth flow of liver chi. That is the main action of the liver, is to help move qi throughout the body, which also assists in digestion and the menses, so it can help with uh, regulating the menses. Any symptoms associated with P PMS can be regulated this way as well, through a healthy liver. also moves blood, stores blood, and can move it as well. Okay, let's give it a little bit of a rest, and then we're going to move on to these twin mushrooms from ASMR Twigs, which I really like. I'm going to use this um, smaller surface. Just 
do a bit of massage here. Just circular motions again. You can just take deep breaths to allow the liver chi to move. This can help to move blood and harmonize the stomach as well. Okay, wonderful. So now let's move on to the hands, I mean the arms. And I'm going to use that same technique. I'll start on the right side, right here. Just let me know if that's too much pressure. It's just going to be right in between the tendons. This is also a wonderful point for subduing rebellious chi and reducing nausea and vomiting too. But in this case, we're using it to move liver chi to allow the smooth flow of it. It can especially help with the emotional aspect of liver chi stagnation. to the other side. It's very easy to, you know, throughout the day just massage this point yourself as well. It can help calm the mind too. Just using my thumbs, we're going to apply some more pressure. these circular motions. Okay. Then again the twin mushrooms. Applying that. Now we can proceed to the legs and feet. Next, I'd like to locate the Yuan source point of the liver meridian, which is Taichung liver 3. So this point is located on the dorsum of the foot in the depression distal to the junction of the first and second metatarsal bone. So you'll find it just right here. So this is the junction of the first and second metatarsal, and you'll find it right in that little depression there. So I'm just going to mark that. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Again, just finding the junction where the two metatarsal bones meet, and then that little depression there. Perfect. Okay. Next, we'll locate gallbladder 34, which is the influential point of tendons and sinews. 
it's right on the side of the knee. So gallbladder 34 is in the depression anterior and inferior to the head of the fibula. So let's first find the head of the fibula here, right there. It's going to be anterior and, and inferior. So right there is gallbladder 34. Let me just mark it. I'll do the same on the other side. And now we can start the acupressure massage. Right there. So gallbladder 34 also moves liver chi, especially in the hypochondriac region. And because it's the influential point of tendons and sinews, it really benefits that, especially in this area. Is that too much pressure? Okay. Do you feel kind of like an achy sensation? Yeah, that's a good thing. It helps to relieve pain in this area. Just overall really beneficial for the sinews in this area. It also helps to expel wind in the knees and legs, which means if you have any pain in your knees and legs, it can help to expel that. Specifically, pain that's caused by the pathogenic factor of wind coming in from the TCM perspective. If you expose your knees for to the wind and you're susceptible, then it could end up causing a lot of pain. And spring is a time of great winds, so we must be extra cautious. Even though the sun is out and, you know, the blossoms are blooming, the birds are singing, it's important to still be cautious of the wind and stay covered, even if it's just a thin uh, jacket that will protect you from wind, you should do it. Scarves are helpful too, just protecting your body. Now the other side. a little bit longer. Now on your own you can also stimulate this point. It's quite easy to find. Just anterior and inferior to the head of the fibula. Okay. Now with both thumbs
take deep breaths. Allow the the virtue to move, allow the pain to subside, allow the wind to be expelled. Okay, good. And then a duller sensation from the twin mushrooms to end off acupressure here. Wonderful. Okay. Now let's move on to the feet. And now back to liver three, Tai Chung. Let's apply some acupressure here. First apply a bit of oil. And these marks that I've made are just um, an eyeliner pencil and it's all natural so absolutely no harm there. Supply pressure right there. Is that okay? So liver three is part of the the wind gates, the four gates. And it's very well known to move chi throughout the body. It certainly does also promote the smooth flow of liver chi. Calms the mind. And it regulates nerves. Moves blood, nourishes blood, nourishes yin. It's so important. Especially since you've been hard at work um, in school, finishing up your, you just finished up your school semester and your entire um, degree, which is incredible. It, it also means that you've depleted a lot of your yin, so it's a good idea to nourish the yin. And the most, um, the best way to do that is to simply rest and eat good food. Move your body gently, take lots of breaks, practice self-care, which in can include acupressure. Okay, give it a bit of a rest. In terms of foods to support the liver in spring, it's a good idea to eat early spring greens, so Anything that's popping out right now, like dandelion, for example, it, it's a bitter as well, which can help to promote liver bile. And all greens in general, kale, arugula, mm, even celery, and also sprouts, any kind of sprouts, mung bean sprouts, alfalfa sprouts, broccoli sprouts, and I'll be very beneficial to the liver. In terms of exercise, it's great to stretch, do lots of really gentle stretches to help exercise the tendons and ligaments of your body, move the blood to your joints and muscles, just another role of the liver. It can help to facilitate that movement and of course some energetic body work like um, Tai Chi for example is great for moving Chi in your body including liver Chi okay that's great now I'm going to have you flip over and um, we can work on the back points So now that we have you flipped over to your back, I'd like to move on to the next point, which is gallbladder 20, feng shi, wind pool. So this one is 
located in the depression between the upper portion of the sternocleidomastoid and, um, and the trapezius muscle. Let's go ahead and find that. It's right at the base of the skull. I'm just going to mark that. would be right just comb your hair out a bit so I can see the points clearly Just going to start with a little bit of massage here. Massaging the trapezius muscles. It's using the bottom of my palm, the heels of my palms, my hands. Try to allow yourself to melt into the table. Muscles nice and warmed up, and the chi flowing. Apply a little bit more.
just a scooping motion here, following the contours of your shoulder here. Fall in the contours of your scapula here, reducing any tightness, any tension, allowing you to relax further. using my knuckles to move up and down either side of your spine does that feel okay? So while we're here, let's go ahead and locate the next point. So the next point is urinary bladder 18, which is Gan Shu. It's the back shoe point for the liver. And back shoe points are very powerful in tonifying and regulating the organ. It allows the chi of the liver meridian to emanate from the interior to the exterior body surface. So it's very powerful. And for the liver, it is located, let's see here, where did I write that? Right there. One and a half twin lateral to the posterior midline, which is the spine, at the level of the lower border of the ninth thoracic process. Okay. So we can count the thoracic processes, the spinous processes. One kind of shortcut way that we learned at school is normally the bottom of the scapula, bottom angle, is in line with the seventh spinous process would be right here, right there, and then that would be the ninth, eighth and ninth, and at the bottom, then we're going one and a half, and the measurement between the, the medial border of the scapula and the spine is three twin, so you want to go halfway. So I imagine it would be around here. So I just want to confirm by starting at C7 and working my way down to T9. So that's C7 right there. T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6, T7, T8, T9 right there. Okay. Just 
going to mark it. Oops, my hands are a little bit... There we go. It was a bit slippery. So that's the bottom border, T9. Then we'll find the medial border of the scapula, the spine, right in the middle. It's right there. Just mark it. And then on the other side, halfway, right there. Okay, and there's just one more point to locate before we do all the acupressure. This is on the back of the forearm. The next point is Zhigou Triple Warmer 6. It is 3 twin proximal to Triple Warmer 4 on the radial side of the exterior digitorum communis muscle. So triple warmer four is at the crease, I believe. And then on the radial side of the extensor digitorum. So let's try to find the extensor digitorum communis first. Okay. On that side. And it is three to one proximal. Since it's 12 twin between the transverse crease of the wrist and the elbow here, I'm just going to do that right there and on the radial side. Same thing on the other side. So that. It's on the radial side. Right there. So all the points have been located. We can go ahead and do our acupressure massage. Start with triple warmer and six to go. Apply a little bit more of this massage oil. So this point regulates chi, expels wind heat, relieves pain, especially in this area. Also benefits the voice and benefits the chest and ribs. It moves liver chi, especially on either side of the body. Okay, other side. Now with both of my thumbs, and then the twin mushrooms. Okay. 
let's move on to the back. Onto urinary bladder 18, just right there. So this is the main point for all liver related conditions. Tonifies the organ, regulates the organ. It also benefits the eyes very much. The liver is responsible for moving blood to the eyes. And so often people with liver pathologies from the TCM perspective also tend to develop eye pathologies. So any kind of eye problem, pain, itchiness, dryness, even vision problems, Liver also controls tears. So this point spreads liver chi and stabilizes the spirit. It's also important for emotional issues, including depression, anger, frustration, stress, mood swings, and PMS. Another great point to massage, if you can have someone massage it for you. Okay. Now with my thumbs. mushrooms. relax okay all right so we're nearing the end of the massage and acupressure session I'm going to go ahead and do the last point here first on the left side point is great for releasing tension in the neck and also headaches and migraines. It's just very relaxing, de-stressing as well. You can have a partner massage this point for you and just take deep breaths while they massage it. using the middle fingers to apply pressure here. It's just more comfortable for me. Okay, and then the twin mushrooms. Okay, 
wonderful. Just using another terahertz tool from ASMR Twigs. This is the comb, which I find is very relaxing. stimulating the scalp. It provides a lot of relaxation, de-stressing, help you sleep at night. It's also very good for circulating blood in the scalp, promoting hair growth. more scalp massage for you. A little bit of ear massage too. You can brush out your hair a little bit. Thank you very much, my dear, for joining me in today's session. I hope it will be helpful to help regulate your liver chi and that you learned something that you might be able to continue practicing acupressure on yourself for self-care, especially this time. As we get into spring and the liver can be taxed, Another good practice is to drink water in the morning with a little bit of lemon in it. And also a castor oil treatment on your liver can be helpful too. I have here some castor oil that I will leave with you. And you simply have to massage it in circles where your liver is. The right hypochondriac region. And then you just put a piece of flannel, which I have right here. And then a heating pad on top of that. And just let that sit for anywhere from half an hour to an hour. It will help to support liver function, help it lymphatic drainage. Also helps support the immune system. In traditional Chinese medicine theory, the liver also helps descend lung qi. And lung qi is very important for a healthy immune system.
just going to put a towel on your back. Wipe off any excess oil and also the markings, we can just wipe that off. A little bit of friction. It's always good. Keep you nice and warm. Thank you very much and I hope you have a wonderful night's sleep and a wonderful rest of your spring. Thank you.